Hey guys, here's a quick look at the new Sunny Sky 2204 motors for the little mini FPV quads. So I just got these in. These came, uh, or actually I got these from uh, MotorRotorSuperstore.com. They were like the only one who had these uh, new Sunny Sky 2204 motors. Um, these have a 2300 kV motor, so it's gonna be a perfect match for a five-inch prop running on a three-cell lipo. So very, very nice. Um, the reason why I got these was because the supper motors that I got from my BH quad, these motors, I got these about two years ago at a uh, expo, so they're actually a uh, pretty poor quality in my opinion, but maybe the newer batches are a lot better, but my older batch that I got two years ago, brand new two years ago, they're pretty horrible, very unbalanced, and the bearings are pretty junk. But once again, I got these two years ago, so who knows, maybe the newer batches are a lot better, but... I just had to take these off, so I got these new motors in, and I'm very, very excited to actually try them out because, you know, they look like a very, very nice motor. Just putting it next to my little uh, ruler, and you know, the new Sunny Sky Motors has a, is a massive 26 millimeter uh, diameter can, so you can see it's just, let me focus, sorry, unfocus, and here we go. It's just like double the size of the T motor, 1306, and also the supple 1510 motor, you can see it's a lot bigger. The shaft on here is a four millimeter shaft, and it also comes with, you can see here, the prop nut and a uh, X bracket to mount to, you know, like an airplane style, whatever, and some countersunk screws. But what I'm gonna end up doing is not using this and using a four millimeter lock nuts like I do on my uh, T motors right here, just because, you know, they're a little bit stronger, more secure, and it just, these kind of vibrate loose over time, and you really don't wanna use Loctite, because if you're not really careful, the Loctite can get on the prop and crack the prop but you know the lock nuts will never come loose but let's get back to the sunny sky motor you can see here very nice you know this quality it's just the windings on here looks you know decent it's not bad and it's not poor so it's pretty good um the wires on here you can see they're a little bit stiff but i mean for a motor this size you're not going to find wires too soft and flexible just because the wires are already small enough I wish these wires were a little bit longer so I can, you know, just run the motor wires inside the frame, kind of like the BH I have, the ESCs in between the frame, and the wires here are pretty short, but for my uh, little blackout quad, you can see I can just direct solder the, the motor wires to the ESC itself, which would be a good choice, but I'm not complaining. Um, you can see down here, instead of using the standard E-clip, uh, Sunny Sky is using this, I believe it's called a C-clip, so it takes up a little bit more space. So, for example, let me flip over my uh, blackout quad. You can see there's tons of space on here to fit a C-clip or E-clip and a C-clip. So, from the very outer edge, you can see here on the right side to the center, it's about three millimeters. So you can need at least a six to six and a half millimeter hole. So when you mount the motor, this uh, shaft would not rub into the carbon. So on the blackout frame. The, you know the sunny sky motors will fit just perfect because it's six millimeters uh, You know for the circumference right here from one side to the other side if you actually kind of rotate it like this So on the blackout frame shouldn't be a problem on the BAH quad um, Let's see you can see here the hole is a little bit smaller So I might have to take out my Dremel and just you know enlarge the circle a little bit So this clip would not rub on the arm itself so, yeah, it's just a quick look at it, you know, very, very nice construction. Just once again, here is a side-by-side -side comparison to the T-Motor 1306, uh, you know, motors. You can see massive on the sunny sky, just a lot bigger. The T-Motor has a 3100 kV. I'm running on a two-cell, but these are actually, uh, the sunny sky is actually 2300 kV on a three-cell. So it's going to be a uh, very powerful motor, great performance. I was, at first I was thinking about getting the new T motor 1806 motors but they're like about 40 something bucks a pop so that's very very pricey and the sunny sky motors are under $20 per motor so that just makes it a lot more economical a lot more affordable and I wouldn't really worry too much when I crash these because you know 20 bucks I can buy like at least two of these motors comparing to a 1306 and also the 1806 so very very nice it's a little bit heavy I believe it weighs like 20, 30 grams. So it's not the lightest motor, but it's gonna be a very, very powerful uh, motor. So once again, that was the Sunny Sky 2204. 
2300 kV motor. This is the new style with this, you know, the standard or uh, the standard uh, prop hub or prop shaft onto the motor can itself. So if you guys are interested, check out multirotorsuperstore.com. I believe these are out of stock at the moment, but um, the guy said he should be getting some more in within the next week or so. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned when I actually decide where I want to install this motor BAH or mini uh, blackout H quad. So so deciding, but stay tuned guys and I'll install these, uh, retune the gain settings and see how they go because from all the views that I've seen from some of the guys who actually have tried these motors before or just tried these motors, the performance looks fantastic. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys.